Hey guys, Sunny here with GeekTools.net and welcome to this untethered jailbreak tutorial of iOS 4.3.2. This works for all devices except for the new iPad 2 and the Verizon iPhone. Let's get started. To start off, we will need to download the 4.3.2 firmware for your iDevice. To do this, I've provided a link below that brings you to this dark looking website where you can browse for your firmware. The firmware should pretty much just say the name of your device with the extension of 4.3.2. That's all you need. Go ahead and then click the download button and it will prompt you to save it or open it. Go ahead and save it to your desktop where it's easy to find. Also, you need to download a program called Red Snow. This is what actually does the jailbreaking. I provided both links for Mac and PC below. Download the appropriate file and save it to your desktop. Now your desktop should look like this. With the two packages downloaded, go ahead and plug in your iPod Touch, iPad, or iPhone into your computer using the included Apple USB cable. Now go to your computer, it doesn't matter if it's Mac or PC, it's the same procedure. Go ahead and open up the downloaded Red Snow folder, and then inside you'll see an application called Red Snow. Open that up, and make sure that both of the files are on the desktop so it's easy to find. We'll have to browse for the IPSW file or firmware file. Click on the browse button, locate the file, and go ahead and click open. It's going to process the firmware might take around 10 seconds or so and the next button will pop up. Click on that and it's just going to run through its process patching the kernel for a jailbroken device. After you're done, you will be brought to this page where you can check off some stuff. All you really want is to install the city application but also if you want you can enable the battery percentage option. That's kind of cool. Then click next and before you continue make sure your iPod touch or iPhone or iPad is in DFU mode. To do make this, sure your iDevice is on and just hold the home and power button at the same time for 10 seconds. This will shut your iPod or iPhone or iPad off and then go ahead and let go of the power button but keep on holding on to the home button. Wait for another 10 seconds before letting go. After that 10 seconds is up, go ahead onto your computer and click next. After clicking next, you'll notice a progress bar at the bottom of the screen. That is basically Red Snow just going through a couple of scripts, making sure the file is on the iPod, making sure everything is in check. And after that's done, you will see a finish button and go ahead and click it when it's done. After the script is done running, your iPod should turn white for a second and then there should be a logo on the screen like this. This is basically saying it's downloading the jailbreak data and it's going to run through a bunch of code. Don't worry about it, this is all part of the process. This part does take a little while so give it around 5 minutes to complete its jailbreak. After that boring long code part, you'll be brought to this screen and you're almost there. Basically, it's just installing Cydia, installing all the bundles that's needed for this jailbreak. After the progress bar gets to the end, your iPod, iPhone, or iPad should reboot and you are done. You have successfully jailbroken your iDevice on the firmware 4.3.2. Congratulations. Now on your home screen, you will see a program called Cydia. This is what you've all been waiting for. Basically, what you can do is put themes on your device. You can customize it. You can get installers to get free cracked applications. All the stuff that Apple doesn't want you to do, you can do with Cydia. So have fun, play around, and uh, enjoy your jailbreak. This concludes the jailbreak tutorial of the 4.3.2 firmware. If you guys have any more questions or comments, you can post them below. Email me sunny at mastersunny.com, add me on my MSM mastersunny.com, and I hope you guys enjoy your brand new jailbroken device. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.